Hey there, welcome back to Place Well With Butter. I'm Jess Larson, and today we're hitting the grill with an absolute must try summer recipe. We're gonna make kalbi or grilled Korean beef short ribs. These iconic thin cut short ribs soak up an incredibly bold marinade of soy sauce, brown sugar, and loads of ginger and garlic. And since they're so thin, they grill up super quickly and that marinade caramelizes on the grill. It is savory sweet perfection. You can serve them up plate lunch style, which is how we like to do it, with plenty of rice and mac salad. It is summer comfort food and it is so good. Now, as a born and raised Midwesterner, I can't resist a good old fashioned summer grill out, but as a born and raised Midwesterner with a Hawaiian mom, backyard barbecues at my house might look a little different than yours. Of course, we love beer brats, grilled burgers, and barbecue chickens, all the classics, but you can also always count on finding a few of our local style Hawaiian favorites being on the grill too. It was always an extra special treat at my house when mom prepped her kalbi. These Korean beef short ribs soak up a super flavorful marinade. It's made with soy sauce, brown sugar, garlic, and ginger, basically all the best things. And that's exactly where we're gonna begin today. We're gonna start by prepping our kalbi marinade. It is super flavorful and it's made with real simple ingredients. First of which is shoyu, which is the Japanese style soy sauce that is used most often in Hawaii. Got dark brown sugar, which you can easily substitute for light brown sugar if that's what you have on hand. Plenty of ginger and garlic, and some roughly chopped yellow onion. Last up, we have a little toasted sesame oil, and mirin, which is a sweet Japanese rice wine. All that's left to do is blend it up. And if you don't have a blender on hand, that's totally fine. You can make the marinade using a food processor or grate those larger ingredients, the onion, the ginger, grate it down really fine and mix it all together in a bowl. Our kelpie marinade is blended together. It smells amazing already and we're ready to get marinating. But before we do, there's one important thing to note and that's that this particular recipe is a little bit more Hawaii in style than traditional Korean. And that's based on my family roots. In my experience, local style kalbi that you'll find in Hawaii is a little sweeter. If you want a more traditional flavor profile, you can cut back on the brown sugar and use an Asian pear instead. This is an Asian pear. You can find it in any Asian grocery store. You just peel it up, roughly chop it, and then add it to the blender and let the blender do all the work. And while you're at it, you could also add about a tablespoon of gochujang, which is a fermented Korean chili paste. This isn't necessarily traditional, but it adds amazing funky heat that is so good on the beef short ribs. And now we're ready to marinate our beef short ribs. And beef short ribs come in two common styles. There's English cut short ribs, which you'll see used in braised dishes. They're the big meaty ones. And then there's flank and short ribs, which are these long strips of short ribs that are cut across the bone. And this is the exact style that we want for Korean style barbecue. We're just gonna arrange these in a shallow dish and pour the marinade over top. And then the last things we're gonna add are some green onion and sesame seeds. And get in there with your hands and really rub the marinade into the short ribs. Once all of the short ribs are really nice and evenly coated with that marinade, you can pop them in the fridge and let them soak for up to three days. This is really the kind of thing where the longer you can marinate, the better. So at dinner time, all that's left to do is light up the grill and grill the short ribs. So easy. Now I have my grill prepared for medium high heat. It's over 600 degrees Fahrenheit, super, super hot, which is the secret to grilling these short ribs perfectly. They grill up really quickly and that marinade begins to caramelize and it is just perfect. So grab your marinated short ribs, shake off any excess and place them directly on the grill, perpendicular to the grill grates. Our short ribs have been on the grill for a little over two minutes and we're just gonna give them a flip. 
We've got beautiful grill marks and gorgeous caramelization happening. This is exactly what we want. And we'll close the lid and let them cook for a couple minutes longer. Our second side is looking absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Look at that caramelization. And these are ready to pull from the grill. So fast and so easy. I like to serve my Kalbi short ribs plate lunch style, which is how we do it in Hawaii. We've got white rice and plenty of mac salad. And from there, we just dig in. I've had my eye on this one since it was on the grill. I'm so excited. Because they're so thin, they're flavorful all throughout from our marinade. You get ginger, you get soy, you get a little bit of sweetness and all that caramelization from the grill. Absolutely delicious and so easy to make and these are a true taste of Hawaii right at home. So be sure to head over to Plays Well with Butter for the full recipe, make it soon and share it with the people you love. And be sure to like and subscribe for more unfussy recipes that pack a big punch of flavor from Plays Well with Butter.